So here we are folks with match number 45 of the 2018 World Cup. It's England up against Belgium. Well, England will line up like this, Pickford, Watford. England will line up like this, Pickford, Walker, Bertrand, Spalling, Henderson, Lingard, Ali, Dier, Lalana, Kane, Rashford up front. As for Belgium, they will line up like this, Courtois, Alderweireld, Company, Vermaelen, De Bruyne, Hazard, Bitzel, Fellaini, Defoe, Bushui and Pateke up front. So Belgium will kick this off, get the match underway. This is match number 45. And it will take place in the real world on the 28th of June at the Kalingrad Stadium in Kalingrad. And it will also take place the same time as Panama versus Tunisia. England in their traditional white shirts and blue shorts up against Belgium in their all red kit. Belgium hotly tipped for this tournament. Let's talk about the permutations a little bit of this group before kickoff Belgium topped the group with six points out of six in second place is England a win Ooh, that's a nasty foul it's going to give Belgium a, a free kick in a good position it's taken nicely done nicely worked hit the frame of the goal and it goes wide Still not over. Great control. Can they get another strike on goal from England? That should clear. But yes, if England were to win today, they would, depending on the scoreline, no, they would. If England were to win, they go through as group winners. Long range effort. Great defending there by England. Blocking all these shots on goal. Panama will be taking on Tunisia in the other game. Now, England also have the possibility... Um, of losing this game and still going through it's uh that's how balmy this uh this group is at the moment so it's it's a win or a lose or a draw for england and they could still go through all depending on the other game so we'll, we'll see how all that pans out now we have an opening goal and belgium are in front people Crisp strike right before the second minute of the match. And the man who scored it, Mitsi Bashui, the Chelsea striker who was on loan at Dortmund this season. And Belgium have their noses in front of England and what are all to do. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the setup here at uh, Blackburn Rover Seas, have been simulated each and every one of these World Cup games from the first one. Uh, Russia against Saudi Arabia up until the final and we'll be playing two four minute halves per game and we're playing it on the retro edition of FIFA it's FIFA 95 and we've managed to hack it a little bit break it crack it destroy it whatever you want to call it uh, bring the uh, old game up to the present day by including some of the teams uh, in fact all the teams that are here in Russia 2018 and we've also updated their rosters to include the players that we expect or at least some of the players that are expected to go to Russia so uh, if you find this content interesting please make your feelings known either in the comments section uh, or by just giving it a big old thumbs up in the thumbs up section and even if you can go even further by hitting the subscribe button and that will keep you up to date with all the FIFA 95 hack videos that I'll be knocking out between now and then and also any other videos that I come up with I am creating a lot of World Cup content um, so please uh, hit the subscribe button I'll keep you up to date now these two sides over the years have played each other 15 no they haven't they've played each other uh, 21 times and England have won 15 of them. Uh, they've lost four of them. And the two sides have drawn twice in all competitions. In all fixtures even. As Belgium looked to get a second. The last time that these two sides met was back in 2012. England were the winners. 1-0. It was a friendly. The first time that these two guys, uh, these two sides met was a friendly. And it goes all the way back to 1921. England were the winners once again. The highest scoring game between these two sides was an eight, uh, no, tell a lie, was a 10 goal thriller. England winning 9 1. And that was back in 1927. 
the last time that Belgium won was back in 1936. Is that correct? But anyway, half time, Belgium 1 0 up. So, uh, in fact, I had my uh, had the statistics wrong. England have won 15 of them. They've lost two of them, and they've drawn four of them. The last time that they did lose was a... I think they lost on penalties. It was in the King Hassan Cup, 1998. Uh, it was 0-0 on the day, uh, and I think Belgium won on penalties. But Belgium going through a golden era at the moment, and they are proving it today, as this would, would put them top of the group with three wins out of three, a maximum of nine points. But England aren't done yet. A goal here. Ooh, it's a good effort. But a goal would give England hope of actually squeezing through as a second place team. This corner comes in. And like I said in the first half, a defeat doesn't necessarily eliminate them. It does put a lot of pressure and onus on Tunisia in the next game between uh, Tunisia and Panama because a win for Tunisia would put England through well it, it, yeah it would unless it's some high scoring win but I doubt it um, um, so yeah it's not all over yet England though try to get themselves there on their own merit a draw would uh, would require a Panama victory to knock them out. England now trying to build. Can they find an elusive breakthrough in this stubborn Belgian defence? So let's have a recap of the fixtures thus far in Group G. Belgium opened up their account with a 1 0 1 over Panama. England being a 2 0 win up at Tunisia. Right now, quick early strike, keep us down to the ground, and they'll go behind for a corner. Belgium then opened up with a uh, continued their winning start with a, another win at Tunisia, 1 0, before England suffered that shock defeat up against Panama, 1 0. Here it comes again with a corner, throw it in there. Keeper is big and brave and collects that ball. Two minutes left in the match. And right now, Belgium are going through as group winners. Now, the winners of this group will face the runner up of Group H. And Group H consists of Poland, Senegal, Colombia, and Japan. We don't know the outcomes of that group thus far. And the runner-up will also face the winners of Group H also. And right now, it looks like it's job done for Belgium under the managerialship of Roberto Martinez, former Everton manager. And that was a curl of a goal, my friend. That is now 2-0 to Belgium. And it puts England with a negative one goal difference, which, as it stands, Panama are top of, are actually in second place uh, just because of the goal difference. Well, well, well. England staring at another early exit in another major tournament, unless they can find themselves uh, some. Uh, it's not, again, it's not over just yet because. I'm just trying to do the maths now. If Tunisia were to win, Tunisia would need to win 2-0 for England to be to go through. Because as it stands, England with a negative one goal difference. And if Panama were to lose 1-0, they would go Panama would go through because of the the fact that um, they beat England in that in that encounter in the last match but England actually need to shut up shop here and just not concede anymore and there is Pickford down to the ground trying to keep themselves with some glimmer of hope and who would have thought that they'll be looking towards Tunisia to try and keep themselves in the World Cup the last 30 seconds of this match and possibly the last 30 seconds of England's uh, piss poor World Cup Balls in the air. Kept alive. Belgium looking very, very comfortable. And that is your lot, folks. England nil, Belgium two. Just to recap the statistics. Eight shots for Belgium, just the one for England. Two corners, though. 
as for the goal scorers, Mashui, Mitsu Batshui, opened up the score, and Christian Bateke with the second. As for the discipline, nobody in the books, no fouls whatsoever. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.